Goes in, they're at the post. And they're off in the Jenny Wiley Stakes. There goes Fluffy Socks from the inside. Here comes Boot to Cache from the extreme outside. English Rose moving forward down to the inside as they head for the first turn. Diddy is up close, then surge capacity. But it is Boot to Cache who's got the lead. But outward from the rail, heading into the first turn. English Rose forwardly placed along the inside. In second, Diddy goes third up on the outside. Walkathon is fourth back toward the rail. Surge capacity alongside her in fifth. Gap of two lengths to Gina Romantica. One lane off the rail around the first turn. In sixth by just a neck, Fluffy Socks is now settling down to seventh on her inside. Embrace me a wide eighth as they head up the back stretch. And then Elusive Princess, who's in ninth, Star Fortress last of the ten. It was 24.18 seconds the time for the opening quarter. Boot to Cache has made the top clear, leads it a length against the rail. Diddy a second by a head, and then English Rose third toward the inside. Surge Capacity looks toward the outside and fourth, and then Walkathon is fifth. It was 48.65 seconds for the first half mile. Gina Romantica is in sixth position between horses, has embraced me to her outside. That pair six lengths off the lead. They're midway on the final turn. Boot to Cache leads it by a length. Diddy second on the outside a length. English Rose is third. Surge Capacity. Fourth up on the outside at the top of the lane. Boot to Cache still has the lead. Didia English Rose toward the inside. Then surge capacity. Gina Romantica is still six lengths away. They're into the final for long. Boot to Cache leads it. English Rose to the inside. Diddy is still there. Boot to Cache in front. English Rose is still two lengths away. Boot to Cache in deep stretch here. Chased by English Rose. Boot to Cache. 25 to 1 upset under Frankie DeTore in the grade one. Jenny Wiley. Trainer Chad Brown gets his sixth victory in the grade one, Jenny Wiley, and it is with a 25 to one shot. Boot to Cache taking the field from gate to wire. Nobody really wanted to press her early and she reeled off modest early fractions. Nobody pressured her. We saw a late bid from the number five horse in the late stages of the race, but she could not quite catch her. Boot to Cache going gate to wire. Trainer Chad Brown, Mataket, Lazanero as well, and Frankie Dottori in the irons for the grade one Jenny Wiley. The official winner of Keeneland's ninth race, 36th running of the Jenny Wiley Stakes Grade 1, Boot to Cache. Owned by Madiket Stables LLC of Saul Kuman, owned also by Michael Dubb and Louis Lazanero LLC of Louis Lazanero. The trainer, Chad Brown, the jockey, Frankie DeTore. Boot to Cache, a five-year-old mare by Literato, out of sign and seal by Hurricane Run, the winter bred in France by Gregor Vichet. One minute, 42.9 seconds. The time for the mile at a 16th over the turf listed good. Keeneland trustee William M. Lear Jr. will present to the connections of Butte to Cache, winner of the grade one, Jenny Wiley.
Boat to Cache taking the field gate to wire in the grade one Jenny Wiley and here with winning rider Frankie Dettori. A couple of days ago you won a race at Keeneland. You didn't do the flying dismount. There are a lot of disappointed people not in the today. crowd. Not today. You stuck the landing. Congratulations. But Frankie, take us through this trip. Were you surprised that you didn't really get any pace pressure today? Uh, yes, I was. I thought the, the nine horse at speed. She won the Pegasus in front. But Chad left it to me and she broke well and uh, I was able to get to the front in my own terms and uh, like you say nobody pestered me and when I got to the quarter pole and let her loose the only thing on my mind is uh, she has a run for four months hope she had the legs to get to the line but she never stopped never in doubt and you know obviously trained by a master trainer I, uh, I uh, just did what I had to do and uh, it was pretty easy I'll be honest with you. You've won many grade ones around the globe. How does it feel to get this grade one Jenny Wiley at Keeneland? Yeah, of course, um, Keeneland is a very important meet. I've, I've had a couple of winners in the past. My none as big as this one. Uh, we got three weeks to the Kentucky Derby. I'm trying to sell myself to the Kentucky people for, <laughs> for the meeting coming ahead. But uh, yeah, listen, uh, beautiful day. We got a full crowd. We need a group one for Chad and the team. Uh, it's fantastic. Well, if you can't sell yourself, I don't know who can with your resume. Congratulations, Frankie. I'm bringing you over to winning trainer and Chad Brown. Okay, well, she surprised the betting public. She was 25 to 1 today. Did she surprise you? She didn't surprise me that she was able to win. She surprised me that she went wire to wire. And uh, Frankie, le leaving the paddock, said, you know, I plan on being very forward in here. I thought about it for a minute, and I said, I'm not going to tell him <laughs> what to do. So um, such a, uh, an important win uh, to share. I've never won a grade one with, with Frankie. So um, obviously anything can happen in those magic hands of his. I want to thank the partners that weren't able to be here today. Sal Kuhn and his partners, Mike Dub and Louis Lazanero. Um, they couldn't make it, but it's a huge win for them. And my team, you know, it's our seventh Jenny Wiley. And uh, like I said in the bluegrass, many, many of the same team members were with us for the first one. Uh, the horses may change, but the people working and making it happen haven't. So uh, it's really their win. They did all the work. Yeah, when you reflect back on your other wins in the grade one Jenny Wiley, I mean, how special is this race to you, just considering the fillies and mares that you've brought here? Yeah, well, when I worked for Bobby Frankel, he won it four years in a row, and I could see him you know put this on a high priority list and you know he, he not only taught me to train he he taught me you know what really matters and Keeneland was a very important meet to him uh, starting his best turf fillies uh, early in the year he really targeted this race during that run when I worked with him and um, I knew that if I had good enough horses someday I would do the same congratulations Chad thank you about to cachet taking the field gate to wire in the grade one Jenny Wiley